Hey, what you guys are about to watch is an excerpt taken from about a 57 minute training session with Kara Hatsor Supawan for the intensive series that I did training with him. Um, in this video clip, you're going to see a lesson about continuing on and not really having combinations, but more having a move present itself through the flow of continuity. So uh, if you want to see the full video or if you want to see the rest of the Sylvie Study Intensives with Carhat, the link to that is in the description. And I hope you guys like this video. So I need to go backwards. I pulled him towards his leg that was in the air, which means he can catch himself. I have to go the other way. <laughs> when he's complaining to me that I'm moi mua, which is this like muddled, indistinct thing, if you look at when I'm throwing like a bunch of strikes as I'm trying to come in, they're all fine strikes, but they are muddled together. Like they're not distinct. Whereas everything that he does is that you can see the gesture from far away. Keep going. Oh, even his dodges. <laughs> and then when he ducks out like that, you're supposed to kick him, like catch him as he's trying to get out. You see him pop on his foot when I caught the kick? He started hopping on his standing leg so that he wouldn't be thrown. Chin down. Chin down. Chin down. This session is so good in just watching him. Because I've worked so hard on this continuation thing of like just keep coming at him that seeing how he dodges me and counters the way that he stays constant while I'm staying constant is so instructive. See how he abandoned that kick and turned it into a block at the last second? I'm trying to get to the outside of him the way that he showed me, and I just don't come forward, like, determined enough, almost. You can't creep in on that trip. You have to, like, dive in on that trip. It's the same with all of his clinch turns. So I'm, I'm trying to loosen up when I, like, start hopping around, like, shuffling my shoulders around. Under. So there I tried to go under because his arms were so high up. Another thing he's been telling me is that when your opponent changes, you change with them. If they go low, you go high. When they come back up high, you go low. Chin down. See how he reverses direction? He'll be like running back and then he'll just drive his hips in and come forward for a second. Uh, head is down, baby. It interrupts my rhythms in so many different ways. Like interruption is not only contact. The way he's constantly changing his angles and distance interrupts what I think I'm doing all the time. So see how far away I am, and so I have to yep, take steps going, to get close enough to him. And as I'm coming close to him, I'm choosing short-range weapons instead of using a longer-range weapon on the way in. He always chin starts down, with what down. he can reach with, yeah. or takes a super huge step, but in a dramatic way that's going to cause me to either freeze or run away. Chin down. Switch mm -hmm. stance. Look at his hop. Look at his hop. <laughs> He can do it even when his leg isn't caught. He can do it just like holding his own leg in the air. So here I'm following him really well everywhere he's going, but I'm not controlling where he's going. As his leg gets caught on me, I just take that half step back and then launch the kick over it. I'm staying on him, which is really good. That's part of the continuation. but. 
if I were moving him in the direction that I wanted him to go in, it would be significantly more uh, bang for the buck in what I'm doing. Oi. So see how he's coming back to the center and he's just trying to kind of like make it a little bit difficult for me. But that's causing me to have to make decisions really quickly. Keep moving. Anything, so here I should anything. have thrown him already by this point. Like he wants the trigger for the throws to be really fast. <laughs> like that. He gave me plenty of chance I mean, to figure it out. Think of the right thing. Anything. But again, you can't wait for it out. You can't wait Let for the right the thing. No the right thing There's will no present point. itself as you move. Hey, so what you just saw is just a piece taken from a 57 minute video of training with Karahat. And you can see the entire video at Sylvie Study. Link to that is in the description. It's on demand, so you can actually download the videos that you want to see. It's pay per view, and you can also subscribe to see all of them if you want to see the progression of the way that Karahat teaches. Um, you can see in this video the way that he kind of introduces ideas and lets them develop. That's the way he teaches in the entire Sylvie study and intensive with him, which is really incredible. So if you want to see more of that, check the link in the description. He's amazing, and I highly recommend it.